This is Michael Gershman with North Beach Community TV and NorthBeachNow.com here at the Sand and Sawdust Festival here in beautiful Ocean Shores 2021. And we have a festival for you. If you're not already subscribed, after you see this video, I hope to have earned your subscription. And we are rolling. We are here on the beach with Amos Callender with Team Form Finders. And would you like to tell us what's going on here? Sure. So we've been brought in by Ocean Shores to come and do administration of this event, amateur event here on the beach. We also came in yesterday and built this, this display piece you're seeing behind us. We've been a team together for about 12 years off and on with various numbers of people kind of rotating through. Uh, we all started as amateurs and worked our way up year after year, became professionals. Okay. And, the, and the competitors? And as far as competitors go, we have a team of amateurs, six different teams out on the beach right now and they've started here at 11 o'clock. They're gonna wrap up at three. Judging will be at 3.30. And they have a 10 foot by 15 foot plot. All the sand that they get is right there in that area. They're building up and working on them right now. We are here with one of the sand sculpture teams. Would you care to tell us a little bit about what's going on here? Absolutely. Um, well, my name is Logan and this is my son, Rylan. And we were with our family from all the way from uh, Bremerton, Washington. Um, we got one. Uh, his uncle has came all the way from Nevada today. But uh, yeah, we're mainly from Kitsap County and we came out here to Ocean Shores for your guys' uh, competition and to have a fun day at the beach. Um, our theme is obvious, is, is Mario Brothers, Mario Party, Mario Land, all the above. That was uh, my son's idea and we're having a good time with it. And uh, yeah. I, overall, having a great, de great day at the beach. Corey, go ahead and tell us a bit about yourself and your team and your sculpture and where you're from and all that stuff. Okay, I'm Lori. We are the Watermans. Our sculpture is called Ocean Life. I did this with my husband, Russell, who's the mastermind, and Brett, our brother. And so we have an octopus and we have a couple of starfish. And in the back, we have another starfish and a clam and sitting on a rock. We are from Port Orchard, and this is the very first time we've ever entered a competition. And the name of your team is? Watermans. We're the Watermans. And this, this display is called Ocean Life. Hi, my name is Emily. We are the Tacky Hawaiian Shirts, and uh, we are from La Center, Washington, and our sand sculpture is sort of a um, a sea monster. It, w it was going to be a sun, but now it's just a sea monster uh, to represent summer. <laughs> Here we are with another one of our sand sculpting teams. Could you tell us a bit about yourself and the team? Uh, and the sculpture. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Steve. And uh, this is my wife, Tony, over here. And our daughter, Anea, behind her. And my son-in-law, Addison. And uh, we're, we came from um, Seattle uh, area out to the beach here to see my daughter and enter into the sand sculpture contest. And the sculpture here is called Sun Bus. It's a, an, an, a vintage bus with the uh, sun coming out of the front of the bus. You can see the windows up on the top here and the bumper and the wheels down here. And um, we just decided to come out here, see our daughter and escape the heat and have a great time. And here we are with another of our sand sculptors. Hi, my name is Daniel Langer. Uh, that's Douglas Orr and Marie Brain. And we are the abandoned uh, sand rats from Aberdeen. 
Doug is actually the uh, president of the Grace Harbor Artist Guild and the Aberdeen Art Center. And I'm a local artist who shows there as well, and that's my wife. And we just recently got married. It's a gorgeous day. And uh, it's nice seeing everybody out here and in, to enjoy the, the weather. And it's been nice and cool with that mist coming off the water. And everybody looks like they're just having a great time. We got some great castles out here. So. Here we are at the Sand and Sawdust Festival on the sawdust side with a carver who's making sawdust. I'm Dick Bilby from Port Angeles, Washington. I'm carving an otter and a fish and a crab for a little sea life team. I've been carving here for about four years. I've been carving for about five. And, uh, carved a couple carvings over there for auction that will be this afternoon. Mayor Dingler, it seems as though the convention center is filled and is this the first event that has completely taken over the convention center and the parking lots and... Absolutely, this is the biggest event we have had uh, since really since the pandemic was called. And it's been exciting to put this together and a little nerve wracking because you didn't know how many people were gonna come. Uh, and what the weather was going to be like and all of those usual things. But this year we wanted to make it extra special and we're so pleased to see the wood carvers come back uh, and the sand carvers. You know, it's been hard on them as well not to be able to do what they do uh, and make a living at it uh, or supplement their living. So I, it's great for everybody and I welcome people. It's such a wonderful opportunity to get out near the beach and enjoy all that Ocean Shores has to offer. I noticed when I was filming yesterday that the beach was filled with people and going for miles the beach was filled with people and it was a warm summer day. We are having a war another warm summer day today and yet as warm as it is, it is still much cooler than it is anywhere else in the state. Absolutely, we have those nice ocean breezes uh, that help a little uh, and keep us, I, th I suspect we'll be in the low 80s today and that sounds just perfect for this sort of event and just, just for being out and about for people. We are here with Allison Klein, the volunteer coordinator for the Sand and Sawdust Festival. Allison, congratulations on a festival well done. Thank you. We have worked really hard as the volunteer coordinator for the event. I have worked with a lot of the local residents who have come out to volunteer their time to help the carvers and also to help with the auction. And this event could not take place if we didn't have all of our volunteers here. And they have come out in the heat and they are doing a great job for us. 
I've been told that you have also been working with the carvers and the upcoming auction. What have you actually been doing more specifically? What we do is go around, clean up for the carvers, get all their shavings and chunks of wood out of the way. We also tag all their pieces for the auction. They need to do a quick carve, which they do in an hour and a half, and it's just amazing artwork. And then they also do a standard piece, and then tomorrow they will have their main piece, or no, today they will have their main pieces up for auction. And so we work with them, we make sure we're getting water to them, we make sure they have lunch and snacks, clean up the stuff, get all their pieces in, set up for the auction. Sounds like a real job. It's, it's, that sounds like work. It is, but it's fun work. Outside here at the Sand and Sawdust Festival, there's a lot of carving and artistic creativity. There's also a lot of artistic creativity inside the convention center. And we are here with one of our artists. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stu Waldrop with Creative Mindworks, and I'd like to invite you in and uh, take a look at what we've got going on here. So <clears throat> I create metal art, and I used either repurposed metal or new metal, and I use a variety of different techniques, and uh, heat with a torch is my, my favorite way to get colors such as this mallard duck here. And I also incorporate some airbrushing and some rusting techniques and, and um, whatever I need to do to get a, an effect a customer would like. Thank you. Most people don't think about soaps in terms of artistry or creativity. We have someone here to prove them wrong. This is Laura Brannan with Gaia Blend Soaps. And tell us a bit about your soaps. They're made with all natural food grade ingredients. I make them here in Ocean Shores in my home studio. To make them, I use this soap mold right here. There's a door that flips up and I will take a bar of soap ahead of time, like this one, and slice it into pieces and then pour soap on top to make patterns. So I started by making a base recipe that makes a lot of bubbles and rinses well. Then I got creative with it. When I found out I could do that, I started making all of the variety out of the same base. I use different essential oils and I use natural colors, micas and pigments. So it is fun to come to the table and pick them all up. You know that you're gonna get a good quality bar that makes a lot of bubbles and it's long lasting, hard bar, but with different smells and it's fun. I've noticed that some of your blends of the different scents, you definitely have an artistic creative touch to your soaps that I don't see in the mass market soaps out of the grocery stores. Yes, I have the freedom to put together many different essential oils to make my own blends and I often use what customers recommend. My customer recommended I blend bergamot and lime. So I made this one. This was that one. This one's very popular. The smell comes from a tree that grows in Asia and it smells like lemons. It's called Litsi. And I add calendula flowers to it. It sweetens it up a little bit. Over here, I made some more that are patchouli and cedarwood blends. So people who like earthy smells will, will like, like that. There's a lot of variety of those where I put flowers more over here in the front part of the table.
Hi, my name is Jeff Semerowski and I'm working on a bear in the log and I live in McClary, Washington. We are here with local carving celebrity, Tony Robinson from Native Beach Carvings, Native Beach Art. And if you've been in the local area for any length of time, you've seen quite a bit of his work around town. Tony? Hello folks, and this is 2021. We didn't have the sand and sawdust last year, but thankfully we were able to do it this year. I think everybody really enjoyed this weekend and it's really important to have some artwork in town again. And uh, all of my fellow friends and uh, chainsaw carvers, they've come from other parts of the state. We were in Reedsport last week competing and uh, now we're here at Ocean Shores. And then the third leg of this uh, tour or this competition is Cedro Woolley, July 1st to the 4th. However, back here in Ocean Shores, this is always a good thing for the local economy as well as the tourism. They generally just love to come through, wa watch what we're creating. And in the past three days, we've worked on what we call our main piece, which that will be ready for the auction at two o'clock today. And each day we've also put in a standard carving and a quick carving. And so we've had lots of interesting pieces in the last few days. Uh, yesterday, there was a great assortment of benches, of uh, individual sculptures, and everybody's just having a really good time. Uh, this is something that happens each and every year out here, and we want to keep it going. It's, it's went on for the last 15 years, I think, and we want to just keep it going. It's just a great show. So here we have my main piece for this weekend show. This is a soaring eagle going over a bank of trees and a waterfall below. I wanted to do this as a something different every time you're changing the the sculpture outside the log it really is attention grabbing you have the soaring wings it's just something that's very pretty and you don't always have the opportunity or the time to do something like this but this will be the main piece uh shortly in about a month i think i'll be doing a big one of these about 12 foot so yeah this is uh going up for auction here at two o'clock We are here with local Ocean Shores resident Dana LaDuke who has more claims to fame than most anyone else around including his Super Bowl championship ring. Dana? Thank you very much. Uh, I'll tell you it's great to be back in uh, the Northwest. Ocean Shores has been a favorite. We've been here for 25 years now. and. Uh, We've had a lot of fun. The people are wonderful and, uh, you know, it just doesn't get any better than this place. Uh, we've watched it grow and uh, we're out here today at Sand and Sawdust, uh, really enjoying all the uh, professionals watching them do their thing. And speaking of doing their thing, uh, Saturday night on the 10th of July, we will have the 10th annual, really 9th uh, annual Grays Harbor uh, youth athletics dinner, auction, and so forth, uh, right here at the convention center. And we'd love to have you come out. Tickets are at Waves of Bling. And uh, uh, preceding that, uh, at 11 o'clock in the morning, we'll tee off at the golf course. We've got Dennis Erickson, former head coach of the Seattle Seahawks, San Francisco 49ers, University of Idaho, Washington State, Oregon State, Arizona. The guy is the greatest coach ever to come out of the Northwest, bar none. Uh, I worked for him for six years. He's a wonderful individual. And then, of course, we have our own uh, uh, former Grace Harbor resident out of uh, Aberdeen, Mark Bruner. First round pick out of the University of Washington. 
without a doubt, the greatest player ever to come out of Aberdeen and, and uh, Grace Harbor County on his first round pick of the Pittsburgh Steelers, nine years there, five years with the Houston Texans. Mark will be here with us addressing the crowd that evening at dinner along with Coach Erickson. We are going to have a, we want to rock the house. We got two of the greatest Northwest guys ever that'll be here in Ocean Shores and we want to show them uh, the love that we have for them and, and how they've represented us so well over their careers. Anyway, it's, it's wonderful to be here today with you guys. I can't thank you enough. Mr. Tony, if you got a chance to see him and his work down here, it's phenomenal. Probably the best carver in the world is right here, another resident of uh, Grays Harbor in the Ocean Shores area. Anyway, thank you so very much for allowing me to uh, be here with you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy this weather, and God bless you. We are here with Papa Butch, the manager of KOSW 91.3 FM, the sound of the shores, the only local radio station to Ocean Shores. Papa Butch, tell us about your experiences this year with sand and sawdust. It has been one awesome festival, let me tell you. We did uh, Friday and Saturday on the beach. I've never seen it that crowded down there. It was just awesome. And now we're here Sunday, and usually on Sundays, like when we are up here at the beer garden, there's hardly anybody here. But today, this is a pretty good Sunday so far, and it's early. So yeah, we're having a great time. After a year and a half of not being able to do anything with COVID that was going on, this is exciting. I can't wait for the rest of the summer. We've got all kinds of events coming this summer, festivals. I hope everybody comes down here to Ocean Shores and, and, and participates in it. We'll be here, that is for sure. We are here with the gentleman who I believe will win the award for the most distance covered in the process of getting to sand and sawdust. Hi, my name is Chris Lance and I'm from Mount Airy, Georgia. Um, I came here to sand and sawdust to hang out with some of my chainsaw carving friends and to carve some of this western red cedar you guys have here. And uh, this, this event is the middle part, the second event of a three-part series. First is Reedsport, then is Ocean Shores, and the third and final leg of this journey will actually be Cedro Woolly, where the finest and greatest chainsaw carvers from the United States and beyond will be gathering to compete for uh, the title of, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> but um, we'll be uh, carving some four-foot diameter logs up next weekend, 4th of July weekend in Cedro Woolly, Washington. And this week we're down at Sand and Sawdust carving up these beautiful pieces. This right here is an example of my work. I did this piece in Reedsport last week. And uh, we're doing some beautiful sculptures that will be auctioned off here, I think at 2.30 today. And some of those are, you know, lighthouses and pelicans and bears, eagles, owls, sea captains and the like. Hope you guys take time out of your day to stop and come by and check it out for yourselves and uh, enjoy. This has been the 2021 Sand and Sawdust Festival here in beautiful Ocean Shores. And we have had a wonderful time talking to the chainsaw carvers who make bears like this and bears like this. We've been talking to the sand sculptors and the vendors. And all in all, a good time was had.